And welcome back to Hannity. Hillary Clinton is finally responding to the bombshell allegations made by Donna Brazile and the DNC and the Clinton campaign that they colluded to actually rig the 2016 Democratic primary. Like, by the way, the fake news media, they were colluding with her. The fix was in. Take a look. The DNC had a bad couple of weeks. Donna Brazile wrote a book. I know she's a longtime colleague of yours. And she sort of, in her book, made this comment that your campaign through an agreement had too much influence uh, to maybe at the detriment of the Sanders campaign. She sort of walked back those comments now. Yeah. What was your reaction to that? I didn't know what she was referring to because, as has now come out, that just wasn't the case. Nah, they just signed a private agreement and Bernie Sanders didn't have the agreement. She was in charge of hiring and the money and everything else. It was, and oh, and Donna Brazil said it was rigged. Here was Reaction, Fox News contributors Tommy Lahren and Jessica Tarlov. Why are you laughing? She said, oh, she, because she said it, what oh. Donna Brazil said is so laughable. That's why I was laughing. So Donna Brazil is a liar. Donna Brazil made it seem as though the 2015 joint fundraising agreement was actually what the 2016 joint fundraising agreement That's said. A, that Bernie is a Sanders myth. and Hillary Clinton signed the same agreement Glenn Greenwald in Greenwald wrote an article that says that is one of the biggest lies that Bernie signed the same thing. That well, that's not true. No, it is absolutely true. Look at it. And then he went out and raised zero dollars so for Democrats so, so and Hillary raised me, hundreds of millions of dollars. What you're saying is Donna Brazil is a liar. That's what you're saying. That's what it looks like. When she like. said it was rigged. Well, rigged, first of all, how do you rig and 4 million votes? And she said she called Bernie Sanders and, and it broke her heart. Yeah, well, I mean, you read that You read that excerpt where she had to light a candle and put on the mood music to call Bernie Sanders. Well, I don't think I'd want to tell somebody that they never had a shot, that there was a joint agreement. He didn't agreement. have a shot because he didn't Hillary, appeal wait, what about to Hillary, Democratic What about voters? Hillary controlling the hiring and the finances, but, of the, hang on, of the DNC, and not Bernie. But she did after she was the nominee, which is the right of no, every nominee. Before there were but nominees. it was the 2016 agreement, not the 2015 agreement. Is there anything? I honestly believe, Tommy Lahren, that I swear if the Clintons are on national TV and they put a gun at someone's head for no reason at all and shoot somebody, they'll, the liberal, the left in this country would defend it. Well, that's, I mean, look at Donna Brazil. It's not true. You know, and I want to, I want to ask Jessica, I want to ask you a question. What do you think the leftist mainstream media would say about Sean or myself if we called Donna Brazil a liar? What would they call us? They would call us sexist and they would call us racist. But because you're a Democrat, you can say Donna Brazil is a liar to protect Hillary's butt. Now, what world do we live in? Oh, well, I don't think that the leftist media right now, if you read what they're writing about, lots of them were Hillary defenders and lots of them are making exactly the same argument that I am right now. So I don't think they would call you racist, and I don't think they would call you sexist. Listen, the liberal media likes me more than they like you. That's for sure. But I, it's not because of anything That's inaccurate. That's so mean about, of them. Tommy, I'm no, sure no, your I mean, feelings are I really are hurt. like you, Tommy, and I, and I like you, Sean. But I'm just saying, I, you know. Tommy, the left-wing media doesn't like you. Shocking. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, boy. Add it to the list. That's okay. If the leftist mainstream media doesn't like me, I take that as a victory. I'm sure you do as well, Sean. Yeah. All right. But the bottom line is, you know, I look at a lot of things. I see that James Comey writes an exoneration of Hillary Clinton. And I look at that and I say, wow, the fix was in. He did it before he even did his investigation. I see Bill Clinton meeting with Loretta Lynch on the tarmac, and I'm thinking the fix is in. And then I see that Hillary Clinton, although she denied it for a year, that that she had paid for this phony Russian dossier full of salacious lies about Donald Trump. Um, and now, oh, yeah, but it was only research, op research, when she paid for it and denied it. Why do you constantly defend people that are known liars, continually lying? Well, are you willing to admit that Donald Trump is a liar? No, then we I, I, tell here. me on what. Okay, how about he was against the Iraq war from the start? Actually, uh, I, know from per, wait minute, I know from first-hand experience because I used to fight with him what on the phone about it. What about what he said on Howard Stern? That was invented? He said that too. Listen, one of the things that Donald Trump, he shouldn't have done is gone on Howard Stern. If you want to be president, don't go on Howard Stern. <laughs> well, show. I don't think he knew. It's a bad, no, but, that, but the point is, I know of first-hand experience. He was talking about uh, taking the oil back in the day because I talked to him about it. First-hand experience. Okay, and I mean, he went out there when. But, but, but that doesn't. But your answer to my question: Why the Clintons? Wasn't the fix in when Comey wrote the exoneration before he, he did his work? Well, That's I, the, isn't the fix in? Well, there are analysts who say that. First of all, there are three people who could have 
change the language there with the Comey letter. I, I said you, I'm happy for the But he's writing that, an exoneration before he did his work or interviewed the, the people involved. I have involved. said that I have no problem with an investigation into what you happened have a, in the FBI. have a problem her funding the Russians when she lied and said she didn't, she well, wasn't Well, funding opposition research funding, or meeting with Kremlin officials. Funding, Don Jr. is saying, hey, come on down. Let's have a chat. Well, excuse me. Fusion GPS that she was paying, we now learned well, this. Mark, hang on. We just learned this week that they met with the Russian lawyer before and after Hillary was paying them. Tommy Larry. Get him. Here's my question for Jessica, and it's an honest, sincere question. Do you trust Hillary Clinton? Not, not anybody else, not analysts, not in, you. Do you trust Hillary Clinton? With what? Honesty. Is she an honest person? With I, I do actually think that she is an honest person. I, I think there are obviously, when you have been in public service for 25 years, 30 years, there are certainly things that I have called her out on and said that it's just wrong the way she waffled with the email scandal. I even called her out about what happened during Benghazi and the Benghazi scandal after that. But I do not think that Hillary Clinton knew what was going on with the Russian dossier. If you want to talk to Mark Elias, to her lawyer, you can do that. If you want to question Tommy, why there were an FEC filings, you can do that. Tommy Lahren. This woman has been lying for decades, and the Democratic Party continues to shield her. You can keep doing it if you want. It's only going to help us in 2020. So keep shielding Hillary Clinton. Keep bubble wrapping her. It's hurting you, not me. I, I mean, no. I, I just disagree with you. Shielding her, the woman lost the presidency twice. She's not running for public office ever again. She's mostly in the woods or at her house. You don't think there's I anything mean, wrong with her? What turns out she paid for phony Russian information that she was used as a lot. Yeah, she, Hillary Clinton's campaign. You think Hillary Clinton and Hillary said, Clinton go the out DNC. and do this? Excuse me. Who knows what she knew? She, uh, nobody but knows. She paid $10 million. Nobody, nobody knows anything. Did. Her campaign did. Go talk to her She's campaign her campaign. Lawyer. She's not. I mean, how many decisions right. are, well, fine. Then Donald Trump knew everything that happened with the Russians. I got to roll. Okay. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. When we come back, I have a.